Hello everyone, this is Mansi from evidhyati.in coming to question number 2, exercise 6.2. So, in this question we have write a Pythagoras triplet whose one member is 6. So, you have to write a Pythagoras triplet. Now, in Pythagoras triplet, there are 3 numbers hote and the numbers are 2m, m square minus 1 and m square plus 1. So, ये तीन numbers होते हैं Pythagoras triplet में. अब उसमें से आपको एक number given है, which is 6. Right? So, we can say, let's suppose the first number है 2m. वो 6 है. So, 2m equals to 6. Then, m will be equal to 6. And, यहाँ पे 2 multiply हो रहा है. इधर जाके divide हो जाएगा. Right? So, m equals to 3. Ab m amal pas a gaya 3. First number hai pata chal gaya 6 hai. Right? Second, m square minus 1. So, means we have to find m square minus 1. So, m square will be 3 square minus 1. Right? So, 3 square is 3 3 is a 9 minus 1. 1. So, 9 minus 1 is 8. So, this means the second number is 8. And now the third number will be m square plus 1. Which will be again 3 square plus 1. So, 9 plus 1 is 10. Right? So, means the third number is 10. So, the Pythagoras triplet we asked that is 6, 8 and 10. So, this was the first part. Now, let's come to the next part. Now, the second part is 14. So, let's take it as the first number. So, 2m equals to 14. Now, m is equals to 14 upon 2, which is m equals to 7. So, now, we have m ki value a gai, 7. So, let's put it in the next number which is m square minus 1. So, m square means 7 square minus 1. 7 square is 49 minus 1. 49 minus 1 is 48. So, this means the second number here is 48. Now, moving to the third number which is m square plus 1. So, m square is 7 square plus 1. 7 square is 49 plus 1 which is 50. So, this means the third number is 50. And we have Pythagoras triplet that is 14, 48 and 50. So, this was the second part. Now, let's come to the next part. Now, the third part is 16. So, let's take 2m equals to 16. Right? So, this will be m equals to 16 upon 2. Means, m equals to 8. So, my pass m ki value aage first number humne 16 liye. Second number will be m square minus 1. So, m ki jaga 8 aega 8 square minus 1. So, 8 8 sa 64 minus 1. So, this will be 63. So, the second number is 63. Now, third number is m square plus 1. So, m is 8 square plus 1. 64 plus 1 is 65. So, the third number is 65. Now, the Pythagoras triplet we have is 16, 63 and 65. So, this was part number 3. Now, let's come to the next part. Now, the fourth part is 18. So, 2m equals to 18. m equals to 18 upon 2, which will be m equals to 9. So, m ki value aage 9. The first number is 18. Let's find the next number. m square minus 1. So, m is 9. Means, 9 square minus 1. So, 9 square is 81 minus 1 will be 80. Right? So, the second number is 80. Moving to the third number which is m square plus 
1. So, m square is 9 square plus 1. 9 square is 81 plus 1 which is 82. Thikhe? So, next number ho gaya 82. Now, the Pythagoras triplet we have is 18, 80 and 82. So, this was the last part of this question and this was question number 2 from exercise 6.2. Now, let's come to the next exercise.